What's up guys, Kyle here again, and today we are checking out a brand new overdrive from Lick Larum. This is the King in Yellow, and I don't know what that name means, but we're gonna check it out anyways. Let's do it. I'm not even in tune. Hope you guys are having a great day out there today. If this is your first time here at my channel, my name is Kyle and what I do is I take all sorts of awesome high gain related guitar gear. I record it with a simple SM57 setup and I give you the unprocessed audio on your end. So if you're into E standard thrash riffs, dropsy hardcore riffs, and dudes who have a funny voice because they just choked on their vitamins, you're in the right place. Consider hitting the like button and subscribing on the way out so you don't miss any more of my stuff. Thanks. All right, guys, so today on the channel, we get to check out the apex of German engineering. And no, it is not a rocket. No, it is not the Autobahn. It is a pedal. This is a brand new overdrive from my friend Daniel over at Lick Laren Pedals in Germany. And this is the King in Yellow. I didn't bother to ask him what the name meant because he's a weird German dude. So there's probably something behind it. But all I cared about was if it sounded good. And you guys heard on that opening clip, uh, the 6505 1992 original, I've got the gain turned way down. And when we kicked this overdrive in, it was like gain to the max. So this thing has an astronomical amount of output, but it's also got some other cool features that we're gonna go over. This really is a pedal that uh, is going to earn a place on my boost board, a permanent place, at least for the near future. And I just checked it out. Like this thing is really winning me over in a hurry. So first off, I wanna say thank you to Daniel for sending this pedal out and for sponsoring this video. This is a sponsored video. Daniel is paying me to share this pedal here with you guys on the channel. I just wanted to be upfront with you guys about that. Feel free to take everything I say with a massive grain of salt and you are right to do so. But I'm gonna give you my honest thoughts and opinions as I always do, so keep that in mind. All right, so I know what you're probably thinking, just what the world needs, another overdrive, another tube screamer. Don't we have enough of those already? The answer is always no. no! But this one really does stand out from the crowd for a number of reasons, and we're gonna go over that real quick. Number one, it sounds great, but number two, it gives you all sorts of functions and features that you're not gonna find in other overdrives. One for sure that I don't think that you're gonna find. I just said for sure, and then I said I don't think, so don't take me too seriously. But as you can see, we've got level, we've got gain, standard overdrive controls, right? As you could hear, there was a ton of output in this pedal. It is going to be able to juice the front end of pretty much any amp uh, to levels that most of your other drives are not going to be able to reach. So there's a plus right off the bat. I don't even have it gain or dimed out yet, and it still is just adding tons of output. Moving down to the second row of controls, we've got low, low mid, high mid, and high EQ controls. So no longer are you stuck with a single tone control that just controls a single sweep of say your mids or your high mids. You literally get control over four different EQ bands here in front of your amp. That's going to give you a lot of tone shaping ability that a lot of other overdrives are not going to give you. Moving down to the third row of controls is where things get really interesting. Not only do we have a three-way clipping switch, that clipping of course will affect the voicing of the overdrive and we will test out all three clipping modes in order to see how it affects the voicing. But moving over, here's where things really, really get set apart from other overdrives. We have a blend control and that blend control is attached to the effects loop over here. Yes, an overdrive with an effects loop. So. In this effects loop, you can actually add another overdrive and you can stack the two overdrives to not only get, uh, I believe I'm going to describe this correctly. Daniel, please put it down in the comments if I am incorrect, but this gives you the ability to stack not only the gain, but the voicing of the overdrives. And somehow it does it in a way where you don't get that uh, super crazy noise. You don't get the super like 
quacky clankiness of stacking like two tube screamer style overdrives. I don't know how it works because I'm not a smart person, but Daniel is, and he designed this pedal in order for you to be able to do that. So we're gonna check out that function as well. And then the last control over here, we've got a polarity switch, and that's basically to ensure that the overdrive that you are putting in the effects loop of the king in yellow is in the proper polarity to stack them so that they work together. So yeah, really, really unique functions on this thing. So we've got three sick puppies here, and we're gonna try to make them right with a little dose of this pedal. So we're gonna start off on the 6505 again. I'm gonna play it as I have it dialed in, plugged into actually another licked Laren pedal. We are using the key and the gate, which is an awesome noise gate that gives you the option to hook things up in the four cable method. I will put a link to Lick Laram's site down below in the description of this so you can check out all of his pedals, but I have not checked out one of his yet that has not left me feeling satisfied and smiling office reference. Uh, we are going into a Friedman 212 with vintage 30s with an SM57 on those V30s and there will be no post-processing on this video or on the audio. So again, here is my tone, no pedal engaged. As you can hear, pretty tame for a 6505. Let's kick that pedal in the way you see it dialed. So immediately you see how much output is on tap with this pedal. We've got it turned up to about three o'clock and it is just like ridiculous amount of output. Let's actually dial it back. All right, so let's pull the gain up on the amp. This is more of like a regular Tube Screamer style output. So the way that I have it dialed in right now, it's a little bright, it's a little quacky. Let's pull that high mid back uh, to about noon and let's pull that low up to about noon as well. This should fill things out a little bit. Yeah, so it balances out immediately. If you want a more modern sound, you can easily get that by dialing the high mid up, dialing those highs up, dial the lows back. But if you want a more traditional sound, put everything at noon and that's kind of gonna get you right in that standard Tube Screamer style voicing. Let's actually bump that level back up a little bit and let's check out the three clipping modes. I am all the way to the left or all the way to the right, depending on which way you're looking at it. In the middle. Okay, so the middle is a little bit smoother, a little bit darker, and all the way to the left or right. I don't know, all the way to the side. All right, so that one actually seems to be the darkest with the one all the way to this side being the brightest. So in the middle, it kind of seems like it is in the middle of the voicings. Let's check out that effects loop because uh, I'm quite curious. I actually haven't even tried this yet, so I went ahead and added my MXR M77 Badass Modified Overdrive in the loop of this one just to see how they would stack. So we've got the blend turned all the way over to the right, and when you do that, if you don't have the overdrive on, it's actually gonna mix kind of a clean signal in with the overdrive of the lick layer. All right, so now we're gonna click on the MXR. All right, so that's pretty interesting actually. Uh, let's dial up the tone and let's kick that mid bump off. And again, turning that overdrive off, here's how it sounds without that.
All right, so that's pretty cool, actually. Here's what happens if we turn both of them off. All right, that's really interesting. So not only are you getting the gains stacking on top of each other, because we've got a ton of gain, a ton of output right now, but you're kind of combining the voices as well. He said that it was basically designed in mind so you could stack like a TC integrated preamp style boost with this one and kind of get the best of both worlds. So really cool, but let's take this over to the detail and see how a drier, stiffer, kind of fatter amp reacts to this thing. I think that we're gonna have good results. All right, guys, so we are on the Dietzel Hagen. We are on channel three. Here is the amp with no overdrive in front. I mean, that is as mid gain as it gets. Let's go ahead and turn on the lick larm. And this is in the mode where both overdrives are stacked. So both overdrive stacked, we're getting a ton of gain. Let's go ahead and turn those highs up a little bit. Let's get a little bit more aggression out of this thing. Seriously impressed. This is really, really cool to be able to stack overdrives. We're gonna turn the MXR off though. Let's blend all the way back to just this side. So here is just the lick. All right, so we've actually got so much output that it's overloading the front end of the diesel. So let's pull the output back a little bit. All right, let's switch it back over to this far side where it's a little bit more aggressive. What if we don't want the upper mid bump? Let's pull the mid upper mid back. It actually makes a pretty significant difference. Like it makes the overdrive uh, or it makes the voicing going into the front of the amp more throaty. It definitely tightens up and cuts a lot of the low end, even with the bass or the low end dialed up a little bit. Let's see if we can actually get a little bit more low by dialing that higher. All right, this thing just has a ton of voicing options in it. It's crazy. Let's pull those high mids back up. This thing is super impressive. Last but not least, let's check it out on the Mezza Barba. Let's see if it can tighten this baby up because this one is saturated, but it's a little on the loose side. I think it's gonna do it just fine. All right, guys, last but not least, we've got the Mezza Barba hooked up. One of my favorite amplifiers. Here is the amp, channel three, no overdrive in front. As you can see, pretty tubby, a little bit loose. Click on the lick larm and here we go. All right guys, drop C, let's pull the lows back on the front of the pedal. Let's add just a tad, upper mid, just a tad high. That sounds so aggressive. Let's kick the pedal off. Kick it back on. We can actually pull that output back because that is like too much. It's like ultra tight, super, super compressed uh, in a good way. Let's play one rip and we'll call it a day.
Sorry guys, my guitar fell completely out of tune there at the end, but that's gonna do it for me today on the Lick Larum all new King in Yellow. This pedal has been released today. Today is the first day that it's available. And again, I will link down below in the description of this video for you guys to be able to check the pedal out. I would not hesitate to recommend this to you guys. This thing sounds absolutely awesome. It's been doing everything that I wanted to do in front of three very different sounding, very different feeling amplifiers. It's really gonna be able to cover so much ground, even in, in just a single pedal format and the ability to stack another overdrive on top through that effects loop. I've never seen that before from another overdrive. Very, very unique set of features on this thing. And most importantly, it sounds great. So uh, cost, I don't know. I don't know what it's gonna cost because Daniel didn't tell me. Again, if you guys wanna pick one up for yourself, down in the description of this video. If you would like to support my channel, of course, Patreon, add your name to this list of fine people. Support the channel that way. Everything that goes into that, cha into that channel, everything that goes into that account goes back into making better and more content for this channel, and I would really appreciate it. That got really confusing. Of course, my affiliate links always apply. Sweetwater and Zounds, those are gonna be in the description of every video. That's gonna do it for me today, guys. Hit that like button on the way out if you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you thought about this pedal in the comments. As always, I will meet you down there to talk about it. Thanks so much for watching. Kyle here again. We'll see you next time. You know what this wall is missing? Another amp. There we go. That's not good.